Welcome to my 2019 Christmas house tour. My theme for this year is Christmas past, present, and future. I will be giving you a tour of my living room, my foyer, my dining room, my kitchen, and my mudroom. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into the video. So here we're starting off in my foyer, which is my Christmas present. I love the way that this foyer makes me feel when you enter through the front door. It just gives you a feeling of hominess and cozy and warmth, and it turned out better than I could ever expect it. family room my Christmas past I wanted to have a lot of nostalgic um, you know ornaments and sentimental feeling in this room I wanted it to feel very traditional um, sort of the way that I grew up celebrating Christmas with my family my parents always made sure that we had that feeling of coziness and warmth and traditional um, feel in our home at Christmas time. And so I wanted my family to have that same feeling that when we come here in this family room, we can warm up by the fire and cozy up with a blanket on the couch that I absolutely love. Uh, if you guys remember, my husband and I, we went and we uh, got our sectional from our old home and I am just loving it. Speaking about old home, this is one of my favorite YouTubers, Hillary from Old World Home. I absolutely love her and I am always watching her channel because she is so creative and amazing. So. If you guys have never visited her channel or seen her, I would love for you guys to go ahead and check her out. So my fireplace, oh my goodness, I have always dreamed of having one and I am so happy that I get to decorate my fireplace for the first time in our home, our new home this year. I just placed this little flock tree by my window and it is absolutely gorgeous. If you can remember, I had this shelving unit in my dining room and I just decided to change it up a bit for the season. Sometimes when you move things around in your home, it gives your home a different feel. And so I wanted to go ahead and place this in my family, family room and just go ahead and put some trinkets on there that reminds me of Christmas and family and coziness and I think that this definitely takes the cake on my Christmas past theme.
So I wanted my coffee table to be very simple because my daughter Nyla, she takes all the ornaments and everything and tosses them. So I wanted it to be very simple. And my fireplace, I just added some Christmas trees to it. And it just looks so beautiful with the fire on and it feels cozy and oh, it just, it's a great feeling to come home. Um, to our family home and just being able to relax in this environment it's just it just feels amazing um i just put some red pillows on my goodwill finds i got these two chairs from 19.99 at goodwill and here is the ps de la resistance my christmas past christmas tree i think this is my favorite Christmas tree that I have ever done. Probably one of the, the best um, that I've ever done. And I just love the way that it turned out. It just embodies my family and our beliefs and you know, truly what the season is about. Jesus, of course, um, and family and giving and sharing. And I just love that my children's artwork and you know all the little things that they created in school is just on this tree because that's what it's about it's about family this time of year and i just was so happy that i was able to showcase that on our family tree i also went ahead and put some cards on the tree because it's a christmas past tree and so in uh, my family, anyway, uh, my parents, they normally would put Christmas cards on our Christmas tree. And I just wanted to kind of bring that tradition back this year and place some Christmas cards, some of which that I did purchase and some that we did receive from friends and family. So I think that it turned out great. Also, my ribbons, they're not really ribbons. They are made out of material um, that I I got from Walmart at $4.98 per yard. So I used two yards of ribbons and I cut them into strips. Um, and then I placed it on my Christmas tree and I think that it turned out amazing for under $10. I was looking for ribbons this year and I just couldn't find anything that I truly loved. And I just think that it turned out amazing um, with that. And this is one of our first families that we absolutely love, the Freemans. Um, they are amazing. And yeah, I just think that this tree just, it, it's warm and it's cozy and it's it speaks Christmas, it speaks joy, and I just, I love it. I love the way that it turned out. What can I say about this dining room? So my dining room is my Christmas future. It's a representation of what our future looks like now and what it is going to be. Um, I love it. It's neutral and it's a little bit of glam um, and it's farmhouse feel because that seems to be the trend now um, in today's day and age, farmhouse. And I just love the way that it, it just looks and the snow is falling outside and it's gloomy out. It just reminds me of a poster or a winter picture of some sort. I love this little area that I created. Those two artwork, I did 
um, DIY them myself a couple years ago and I love the way that it looks with that little console table and my mirrored artwork I got from Hobby Lobby they were $49 a piece but I got them on the 50% off day so I got both artwork for $50 and I think it's so fitting um, with the glam look that I'm going for in the dining room I love this vignette and putting the Christmas tree here was sort of like an afterthought. I first placed it in front of my window and I didn't like the way that it looked and I decided to put it on top of my console table that I got from Salvation Army for $30 and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love the golds and the whites and the creams and the silvers and can I just talk about the sleigh that I got from Goodwill? Um, I'm sorry, not Goodwill, but I got from Home Goods um, last year. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So my lanterns I got from Target um, earlier this year when we first moved in. We just purchased our home six months ago and my one of my first big purchases were these two lanterns and I love the way that they look with the ornaments in them. Sorry about the lighting you guys. Um, and they just turn out so stunning and sort of gives this dining room a little oomph, you know, a little style. I love, this is one of my favorite parts of the home. I love this hutch, the way that it turned out. It's so whimsical to me. I don't know why, but it seems so magical. Um, and it just... It, it's a touch of whimsy for sure, um, but definitely, definitely um, very glam and rustic and farmhousey and elegant. And I just love all of my thrifting finds um, that is on this hutch. It's absolutely stunning. So now we're in my kitchen. And this is my little signage wall. I love the way that this looks. Um, every morning I come into the kitchen and I just look at these little signs and it's just so encouraging to me. And this is my little hot chocolate station. We are in this kitchen pretty much 90% of the day. And uh, we do a lot of hot chocolates and hot teas uh, as well around this time. So I just love the way that my kitchen turned out. I tried not to overdo it with too much decor because I am always using my kitchen, um, but I just wanted to create some vignettes here and there in the kitchen on the counter, but I just did not want it to overflow um, in my kitchen and take over my countertop space because I use my countertop um, spaces a lot and I wanted to keep that copper feeling going through uh the entire house i have it on all my christmas trees um and it just it, it feels very warm and cozy um to me in our kitchen i love being in this space i love cooking in this space it definitely inspires me to whip up some amazing meals for my family um especially at christmas time i am just loving the coziness that um you know this time is bringing to our home and i hope that you guys are loving it too and give me just one reason why santa you can Hey. Ain't... 
is my DIY chalkboard. I will link this above so you can watch it. I just wanted to add some touches of snow and a snowman on there, which represents the season very well. It's snowing right now and it's just cozy and my little snowman is so cool. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but I just got this from Pinterest actually and I just drew it on myself. And those snowflakes I actually sprayed on with the real snow from Walmart and I think it goes well with my wreath. So these presents I DIY'd um, last year and I wanted to put them in my mudroom and I think that they turned out so great. They're very cozy. I had some pillows on my bench but my kids kept getting them wet and dirty so I decided to take them up, wash them and put them in my living room. And I think the space is still warm and cozy and inviting. Thank you guys so much for watching my Christmas home tour. I really appreciate all the love that you've been giving me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas season so far. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell for when I do upload videos. Thank you so much for watching, and Merry Christmas! King of angels, come let us adore him. Come let us adore